Hey, what's up? Today I have an unbelievably easy lazy sauce for you. And there's a reason why they call this lazy sauce because everything gets done in one pot. You basically simmer it for an hour and after that, it only tastes like it took four days to make. It's that good. And when I mean lazy, I mean lazy. There's next to no chopping in this. Everything gets put into this recipe whole. That's right. Well, except for the eggplant. I'm incorporating a little eggplant into this. I like to get some veg in. But anywho, the thing is, with this dish, it is one of these things. You put everything in a pot, you bring it up to a boil, cover, reduce heat, and simmer for an hour, and you're ready to go. And believe me when I tell you, when it comes you know, to lazy, I put the wow in lazy. So to get us going, I'm just gonna move this off to the side here. And I'm gonna take my eggplant and pretty much this is the only cutting that is involved in this recipe. And I'm just gonna quarter this up and just make it into one centimeter chunks. Nothing complicated at all. In fact, what you want to do is you don't want to cut these too small because they're going to simmer down for like an hour. You don't want them to disintegrate into nothing. You still want a little bit of texture there. And believe me, once these cook down, they're going to become super sweet and delicious. All right, so our eggplant is in, chopped. Next thing I'm going to do about a third of a cup of olive oil, my Greek extra virgin olive oil in this. One onion, boop, whole, no chopping. I've got two roasted red peppers, whole, no chopping. And take a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and I'm going to save a surprise for you at the end because there's chicken going into this too. So there's my pepper, one bay leaf, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of cinnamon, of course, two teaspoons of garlic or minced garlic or two cloves of garlic are in here. Here we go. I've got about a pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's going in here. Now, before everybody gets their panties in a bunch because I'm putting in raw chicken with, you know, other, uh, other foods and veggies in here, that kind of thing, don't worry. What's going to happen is the temperature of this is going to hit way above 160. So any germs, bacteria, viruses, anything out there is going to be gone. So that's not to worry. So let me just put this here because I handled raw chicken and anything that touches raw chicken that isn't getting cooked needs to get cleaned fast. I'm going to take 12 ounces or about a cup and a half of crushed tomato. And also what I'm going to do is just fill this up. So I'm going to take an extra maybe two or three cups. And what I like to do too is just seal this up and just give it a quick shake. Clean off your bottle. There's a lot of goodness in here. Now, put water in here. And you're going to, actually I'm going to add a little bit more because the whole name of the game for this is to actually make sure that everything is covered in water. And that way when it comes time for us to cook this, anything that uh, when your liquid... Uh, evaporates or cooks down you're still gonna have like a beautiful sauce left over lastly but certainly not leastly some of my dried Greek oregano is gonna go in this maybe a tablespoon or so so now that everything's in here it's ready to go I'm gonna simply throw it on my burner here get that going pop it on here so once this comes up to a boil I'm gonna cover it reduce the heat and simmer for one hour see ya All right, so it's been about an hour, actually exactly an hour, and my sauce is done to absolute perfection.
everything is reduced down into its basic essence. Like my uh, my roasted peppers, they're done. They're just pretty much disintegrated. The onion that we put in whole, done, gone. The only thing that's really left here, as you can see, is some of these uh, chunks of the eggplant. Now, here's the thing with this recipe too. If you've got kids, and some of those little shits can be pretty difficult to feed, especially when it comes to veggies, and you wanna give them veggies and all the good stuff, cut up, for example, the eggplant into smaller pieces so it does disappear. Add spinach to this, carrots, kale, what mushrooms, any kind of green will kind of dissipate into the sauce and you'll have all the vitamins and nutrients without them looking at it and saying like, well, what the hell is this? So this I will serve with a nice rice, plain Jane rice, because this is flavor, the flavor of this will actually stand up on its own. I'm going to take out a little chicken and I'm going to show you what happens in an hour with this chicken. Just look at this. This is absolutely lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to move this over here back on the burner. And I'm going to show you, look how amazing this is. I don't even need to use a knife. Like, look, it just literally, it just, your chicken just flakes off. There's literally nothing holding this together. I'm going to take some of this, and this is like hotter than sin. But I want to try this because I think it's like oh, pasta. You can put this with pasta. I'm making it with, I'm going to serve this with rice. A little crusty bread. Fantastic. Lots of like dipping, uh, lots of sauce to go dipping. It's a very nice flavor. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. The chicken just melts in my mouth. It's just disintegrated. It's gone. This is so freaking delicious. Unbelievable. And no effort. Remember, I put the, you know, I put the K in lazy. So like this is, this is one of these dishes. Very, uh, very rich flavor. Great depth of flavor. Minimal, minimal effort. So again, serve this with a bunch of things. You know, even cauliflower mash. For those of you that are on a lower carb uh, diet or you're watching your carbs, serve this with cauliflower mash. Works perfectly. So my friends, that's it for this episode on my lazy sauce or my easy, very easy lazy tomato sauce. Few ingredients in it, but super flavorful. I thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And in light of recent things, I just want to take a second just to tell you, please, please, please be careful. We're living in times that are uncertain, that are scary. Take care of yourselves first and foremost. That's the most important. And take care of each other. I know I sound like Jerry Springer, but it's true. Please. This is not a time for, you know, smart ass, you know, gestures. Just do whatever you're told and be safe. And until next time, I thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye for now.